analog system, it's the purest form of audio. What happens is when you're playing a piano, guitar, acoustic guitar, if it's recording digitally, it's got to convert that to a digital binary code. And then to step it back down to analog, because we can't hear numbers, it's got to put it back together. But the biggest problem with digital audio is it can't, there's still portions of the signal that's missing. And they haven't been able to get it right. Analog is always going to be better because it's, you, you put a needle on a record and it's pure. It's right into the amp rack, right into the analog processing, out to the amplifiers, to the speakers. Uh, there's a lot of problems with digital audio because when you have CD players and then you have digital management systems and you have digital mixers, they have to clock the audio. And no two clocks can clock the same, so you have problems because of that. That's another reason why digital can never sound really right. There's too many clocking devices. It's always if you're going to do digital, you do it once, which would be the CD players and from there back, analog. Basically, I got sick of everybody else's club. <laughs> I mean, that's what it boils down to. Um, Shorty and I have been in the music industry, uh, God knows how many years, uh, it's like, what, 23 years? 20, 20, since 1988, you know, I lost count. And I got tired with the way everything had progressed, you know, and all these visuals and all this stuff on walls, and the focus from the dance floor just wasn't there anymore, you know? People weren't focusing on the sound systems, you know, they didn't care what music sounded like, you know, it actually sounded real grungy. And it got to a point that I actually started watching kids uh, come into the clubs with earplugs. The true basics, you know, I we had forgotten about. I walked into a room one time where there was no mirror ball, you know? And the mirror ball, um, at least for me, you know, is the icon of nightclub. You look at a mirror ball, what do you think about? Nightclub, party, elation, dance. And I, when I saw that removed, you know, I was like, um, we gotta bring it back. We've, we've been, had two parties here, and they're already saying that this Slammer is the best sound system in New York City, or maybe even beyond. Um, and I've just had basically one or two tries to really dial it in, right? I'm still working on it. Um, but they're already saying it's just far better than anything going on in the city. We got David Morales, who's coming in on May 8th and doing an ozone layer party. Uh, it's gonna be all vinyl. Uh, April 10th, we have our industry party, which is gonna be Carlos Sanchez playing vinyl, audio file music, uh, Lord G, uh, Joski, and uh, Steve Amoroso, and it's going to be a, a, cr a credible, diverse selection of music from jazz and, and traditional acoustic music into progressing into today's music. So we're basically trying to eliminate the segregation, musical segregation, of one club is only one style and that's it, or another club is another style, and we're putting that all together. Along with the, the lighting, the mirror ball, all the effects and stuff, we centered it as you can see, around the dance floor. You know, it's not up by the DJ, and you know, it's, and the complement, the, the sound complements with the lights, and lights complement the sound, just goes back and forth, but on the floor. You know, there's nothing really here. Um, on our last event, it was, you know, proven, you know? This section here of the venue in the mezzanine VIP area, empty. The floor was packed because the focus was on the floor, you know. And I said to myself, my vision's complete, you know. Now from here, it's just, you just keep spreading it, you know, spreading the gospel of the analog sound, you know, and the focus on the floor, bringing it back to the floor. I'm a firm believer that, I mean, it's been proven by science that sound um, influences people, you know, and motivates people, it brings out a lot of endorphins, and you know, it just it stimulates you. I want us to give away just positive stimulation and energy coming in, you know? And when you leave, I want you to leave even happier, you know? I want you to leave with the moment that you captured in time, in your heart, in your mind, and um, not only that you'll want to come back, you know, but you'll want to come out and share it with somebody. I want it to be something special, you know? And that goes out to all people who really truly appreciate music, appreciate sound. And um, appreciate your life, you know, because I believe music is life.